Okay, it is 6.33. I have a 6.30 to 7 o'clock window to climb the Manitou incline. But there's a whole thing. I have to go to a parking lot and then there's a shuttle. Car. That's where I'm going. It's 712 now. Let's see how long this takes. By the way, the downhill is a three mile trail that goes down the hill. And yes, I'm already out of breath and I just started. I was just told by this lovely gentleman ahead of me that the end that you see there is not the end. There's another quarter of a mile beyond that. Only about 2,000 more steps. The sweatshirt came off. Okay, the phone's going away. This is getting real. It's been over an hour. I have uh, over 600 steps to go. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay for long enough on my parking meter. This is a lot. I should have trained for this. That's the end, right there. This is a cheering squad on top of the... Woo! We did it! Let's see where we came from. All the way down. And that's it's now 8.43. I started at 7.12. What's that, an hour and a half-ish? How are you feeling? I'm doing good. Yeah. First time this year. First time this year. Yeah. We do it two or three times a year. Okay. My wife does it about half the time I do. Yeah, I heard her say she did it in like 50 some minutes. Yeah. Now we have a three mile trek back down. I'm going to try to follow these two because they're legends. Mm. taking much longer than expected and I'm definitely gonna get a parking ticket last few steps and done now we have to find the tram it's 10 11 right now I'm just getting back to my car but no ticket thank goodness I feel pretty brain dead after doing the incline this morning I do want to tell you what happened in the middle of the night last night though. I was fast asleep in the parking lot of a chain hotel, a very common hotel. And at 2.46 this morning, I heard a man say, I don't 
know if you are sleeping in there or if you are visiting one of our guests, but there is a bear in the parking lot right now. Just thought you should know. Something like that. He wasn't threatening. He didn't say you need to leave right now. It was so strange. <laughs> There's about a 4% chance I dreamt the whole thing. Yeah, so, so many questions. How did that guy know that I was not a guest? Was he talking to me? Uh, was there really a bear or was that just some ploy to scare us? And so I just stayed put. I was trying to peek through, just look through the tiny little slit to see if I could see anything, a bear, a person a cop <laughs> um, and I just didn't have a very good vantage point but I didn't see anything that concerned me and so I just laid in bed paranoid for a couple of hours until I fell asleep and then I got up at 5.30 to get ready for the incline this morning. So I am parked for the night this time in Colorado Springs, which is like right next to Manitou Springs. I'm here because I have lots of errands to run tomorrow and they all happen here. So I decided to stealth camp here in Colorado Springs. So that's it, good night. Good morning, I know I look crazy, but um, I slept really well last night. I have a day of errands ahead of me and first stop is a shower. A shower, a shower, a shower, a shower. I am long overdue for a shower. The sun was like baking on my van right outside the gym where I had my shower. So I moved to a random like office park or something and found a perfectly shaded spot. So my van stayed nice and cool while I got ready.
I came to this area for Manitou Springs. Manitou Springs is that way and Colorado Springs is that way and in between is a city called Old Colorado City and from the looks of it it might be the best one of the three. That person is drawn on. Thank you. 321. Very. <laughs> we'll call Molly. I came in here to escape the heat. I had the place to myself. I have just met Molly. She seems super cool. I'm gonna be in here for a while. So I'm here at Smiling Toad. The bartender, Molly, reminded me that they're a harvest host and she said, you can sleep here tonight. And I'm like, yes, please. Uh, they have live music uh, starting soon. I did the 10 lap.